This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, leading the league in podcasting entertainment. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is Fast Break Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Anderson. Alongside me, as always, is Dave Oster. Hey, everybody. And we are back. We had a lovely Thanksgiving. Did you, did you have a good Thanksgiving? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Lots of food, lots of family, you know. Well, Just we, enough food. Are you a ham guy? I or am. Or are you a turkey guy? No, my family is anti-turkey. I love your family now. I mean, that's what's not to love. Turkey's completely overrated. Yeah. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know if it's my family who just can't cook turkey, but turkey is extremely overrated. Mm-hmm. It's a bad food. You got to get the, you got to go with the ham. If you have on, to smother food with gravy to make it good, it's not good in the first place. Ham is great. Yeah. Ham is great. Go ham. Clear that's winner. what we're saying. Fast break podcast. Ham we, is the wet boy of the week. We endorse ham and we will talk about <laughs> wet boys of the week and ham. <laughs> Honey baked ham will definitely be a part of it. But we got to do some housekeeping first. Ricky is uh, getting on my ass about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, iTunes listener, if you guys are on iTunes, give us five stars over there. The Fast Break Podcast, The Onset Kick, Rick and Johnny Podcast, Primetime Podcast. Am I forgetting any other ones? That feels like a lot of podcasts. Uh, we got four podcasts, I'm pretty yeah. sure, and they're they're all pretty great, and you should be giving them five stars on iTunes. We would appreciate the love over there. Also, check out patreon.com slash Podcast. We're going to have Jake on soon. Christian's going to be on soon. Pat's going to be on soon. It's going to be a fun time having all of our patrons on there. You can be one of those if you go to patreon.com slash Podcast. And also, if you want to be part of the MVP family, we are... Now selling shirts. You got to email mostvaluablepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, all of it should be in the description down below. So I don't want to get anything yeah, wrong. Check wise. the description down below. You can find out how to get your own shirt. But $22, shipping included. It's a great deal. The shirts are pretty comfy. Yeah. And, and also, you're supporting us and, and you're part of the family. So it'd be, yep. it's, it's, it's fun to always be a part of a family, especially <laughs> one that hates turkey on Thanksgiving. But let's <laughs> jump into the dampest of dudes, the yep. soggiest of shooter, the wettest of boys. Dave, you got a two-time wet boy. Who is it? I feel like I'm playing favorites here. I'm just picking the cherries right off the top. It's James Harden. The, the man is the... I, I've heard it actually this week. It was the best player to not win a championship in the NBA right now. And it's kind of hard to argue with that in my Kawhi? mind. Why? Kawhi won a championship. That's right. Yeah. He was an MVP. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, Files MVP, Kawhi Leonard. So, no, James Harden. He has been killing it. And you know what's even better? Is that Chris Paul came back and he's he's still killing it. Mm-hmm. It's great. I mean, the stat line's ridiculous. He's putting up, like, 34 points a game, uh, 9.3 assists, uh, just shy of 7 rebounds. The biggest stat, though, two turnovers a game. Just two turnovers a game. I think there was some stat in that game where him and Chris Paul combined had 20 assists with no turnovers or two turnovers, yeah. something crazy, yeah, especially mean, with the ability of James Harden to turn the ball over. Yeah, he is the identity of this Houston Rockets team. He is what makes them go, and honestly, I love it because he's playing... Absolutely crazy, like a man possessed out there. Yeah, you look at it, 36 minutes per game, and also what I like, at least in that three-game sample that you're giving us, three wins. Really love that, Yeah, seeing that. They're, we usually like They're to, the number one team in the NBA right now. Yeah, we usually like incorporating wins into our wet boys. Unfortunately, I didn't do that with my guy. My <laughs> guy went one and two, but I got to give love to a Orlando Magic great. Aaron Gordon what? just had his second career 40-point game, the second 40-point game of the season. He had one back against Brooklyn early in the season, just dropped one against OKC. They won that game, 40 points, 15 rebounds, doing it on 56% shooting from the field, and also 6 of 12 from 3 for Aaron Gordon in that Stretching game. Stretching the floor. Lighten it up, and I think we, we either the stats already showed or you guys are already back on us, but in those three games that he did play, that he went 1-2, and two, still had a nice stat line, 24 points per game, 2.3 blocks per game, 2 steals, 2.7 assists, 10 rebounds, 84% from the line, 52% from three, and 51% from Aaron Gordon. Those are superstar numbers. I don't know if he's going to be a superstar soon, but you look at him, 22 years old. He's younger than Kyle Kuzma. He's Ooh. younger than the president, <laughs> Malcolm Brogdon. This is a guy that was huge coming out of college. I mean, you yeah. saw the athleticism back then. You saw it in high school as well. A highly drafted prospect, and he really wasn't able to put it together, but now he's finally putting it together. We saw the athleticism in the dunk contest, but now he's being able to do it on the floor in games, and we're also seeing him develop that three-point shot, and we're seeing him kind of develop into not just a guy, a power forward who can stretch the floor, but a guy who can really have the ball in his hands and at least take it to the rim and, and be a guy that is you know, multifaceted out there. Yeah. And Aaron Gordon growing out there is absolutely ridiculous because he's looking good defensively, he's looking good shooting the three, and we already know how athletic he is. And you thought I was silly when we, when we asked right here on this show, are the Orlando Magic for real? They're not. They're not. Aaron Gordon is. Aaron Gordon is. Vucevic isn't real. <laughs> Alvin Payton isn't real. Isn't for real. 
Aaron Gordon's for real. Hey, I, I'll give Aaron Gordon one out of three is sure. not bad for their ten starters. For sure. And one thing too, Jonathan Isaac, still a young prospect, and they're still going to have some high draft picks that possibly could help this team out. But you look at Aaron Gordon; he's a guy that can he definitely that be focal point. a part of a future out there in Orlando. So Aaron Gordon getting his first wet boy of the year. James yep. Harden getting his second. Dope. Let us know your wet boys in the comments down below. This is a segment we love doing. We're going to keep it going, and we're going to keep doing it every single week. So let us know your wet boys down in the comments below. We'll